Yeah. I'm just posting in the chat a website that Emmanuel created for this. So if anyone wants to connect with him, we still have 15 more minutes, but just as a reminder for the infographics he mentioned or more specific recipes and information, you can connect with Emmanuel after this uh, and check out his website there in the chat. Thank you, Megan. So yeah, we have some great questions coming in. So someone asked, if you have been inspired to start growing or produce your own food? Oh, yeah, I do. Um, I just, uh, unfortunately, I, I, I live in a place where it, it's, it's not possible at the moment. Um, it, I, I actually know that people in the cities and different cities, and Megan, we were just talking about that, actually uh, raise their own hens. And so they, they have their own pasture raised eggs. And, uh, and part of me wants to do that. <laughs> it's just, I never thought I would. Um, but growing certain vegetables, you know, I've been, I've been wanting to do that. And, uh, and it's, it's on my wish list. It's, it's, uh, I've got this big, uh, yeah, I'm using the whole law of attraction thing where I'm picturing, okay, my ideal career is also this beautiful home and um, who knows maybe it's going to be in I, I've got friends in Vermont and you know just uh, just a, my visit there last year was just it was so inspiring like it was just like the the quality of the food the the number of farms and and uh, and the hiking and the, the everything it's just uh, it's just um, it was really special so so I, I am inspired to be able to do it one day, to, to have my own garden. And, um, and so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's in my future. Great. This next question is, do you use certain foods as more of a response to mental health symptoms or a preventative to your mental health symptoms? Uh, it's, it's a bit of both. It's, it's a bit of both, you know, the water, uh, oh, here's a perfect example um, for today and actually even before any motivational talk that where I'm speaking in front of an audience, um, I'm really conscious of whatever I eat the day before and say like, like this morning and for lunch. Uh, for instance, yesterday I, I walked by one of my favorite um, Jamaican food restaurants and, and I really wanted their curry goat. Um, on rice and I just knew it's just like no you know like it's spicy and and uh, I just don't want you know my stomach could be could gurgle or um, and as you know you might have heard this expression spicy going in spicy going out so <laughs> I just wanted to be nice and light for today and so and so this morning you know I made sure I just had a light breakfast I had I had um, one pasture-raised egg uh, mixed in with with spinach as a spinach omelet and and just just really light you know just and you know a glass of water and and uh, not even a lot of caffeine it's like a quarter of a cup because uh, I could get really hyper and I would <laughs> I'd be bouncing up and down um, which is great if I'm speaking like on stage but here I'd be probably be going like this and stuff so so. Yeah, so that was that was just being prevent like preventative eating, I guess. I don't know what if that's the right term, but great. 